this pearly shell is so pretty, Granny. Where did it come from? Get you out here, Nadine, so I can see. Oh. Now, eat this while it's hot. Hmm. Is it from Miss Leticia, Granny? Oh, Miss Leticia, the postman. The whole of Rocaine knows how much he fancies you. Well, the whole of Rocaine knows more about it than I do. No, this came from my first love, a young man called Klaus. It was summertime in 1941, during the occupation. I'd just turned 16. Yes, Klaus came to Guernsey at a very unusual time in our lives. These Guernsey folk appall me with their backward way of life. The gap between rich and poor makes it seem more like medieval times. Those commoners depend only on alcohol to stimulate their simple minds. Meanwhile, the retired big shots devote all their time to playing golf and bridge. It is an offence to civilization to call it culture. They are lucky to have us here to reform things. Some good German efficiency is all they need. Wouldn't you say so, Klaus? Klaus, are you listening? What colour, Schmidt? I've never seen such beauty. It shall belong to my first love.
Despite all the troubles that surrounded our love for each other, Klaus never seemed to care, and frankly, neither did I. All that mattered was us. I shall never forget Klaus. Jean, darling, how long have the British occupied these isles? Well, I'd have to go with my father on that one. He always said that we conquered England back in 1066. <laughs> Jean, I've never met a girl whose beauty is matched by her sheer wit. In Germany, you either have the brains of Einstein and the face of a goat, or the face of Rita Hayworth and the brains of a goat. <laughs> Jean, please take this gift. It is as rare and precious to these shores as you are to me. Nineteen thousand people evacuated and twenty-three thousand stayed. And I was glad that I was one of them. Although things started easily enough with the German forces, things weren't quite so rosy later on. Oh, Nadine, that's your mother come to collect you. Here, take this and keep it safe. Oh, Granny, no. I yes. can't take this. Yes, don't forget, don't forget the pearls of wisdom from your grandmother and keep my secret safe. Never forget your first love, no matter who he is or where he came from. Don't you worry about that. You can buy plenty in the bargain bucket shop. On Radio 4, after the news, Jill has a problem to solve in the arches. Oh, marvellous, the arches. I wonder what happened about it Woman, I shall take back my token of love for such flagrant cheat. <laughs> nine, Tritty, nine! Naughty girl, you're still due your punishment for meddling my own best friend. <laughs> take your shamelessness, <laughs> repent, <laughs> repent! <laughs> <laughs> Schmitty. How can I ever forget Schmitty? <laughs> <laughs> 